That is right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Sprite has won YCS Lima, Peru 2023, the first YCS of the brand new format. So smash the ever-living boo-boo stain of that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100 ladder. Eventually, maybe one day we'll hit 2,000 subscribers and I can shave my head. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not actually going to do that. Also, thank you all so much for all the kind words from my community post. I am feeling a bit better. I really do appreciate it. Um, but I was looking at Ready for Duel and 38 minutes ago, they posted that the finals of YCS Lima is Sprite versus Sprite. And uh, we are still waiting for deck lists from this event, but obviously with it being a Sprite mirror match, Sprite won the YCS the second of... I guess the history of the deck of winning a YCS, because if you remember last format or the format prior when Power of the Elements originally dropped, Sprite won a YCS and then uh, kind of near the end of a Shizu or at, at near the end of tier element before we got a Shizu tier element, it was starting to win some YCSs and things. The top four of YCS Lima was, believe it or not, Cash Tiro versus Sprite and then Sprite versus Salamangrate. Now, what makes me wonder is, is this the Salamangrate player that every time that they fucking top, they just never share their fucking deck list? So we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe the Sal pair will be like, no, it's my goo. It's my secret sauce. <laughs> so hopefully these players will share their deck list. But other than that, we don't have any sort of top eight breakdowns or anything like that. We just have the top four in the finals to go off of. But I still think that this is a good amount to talk about for the time being until we start getting deck lists and see breakdowns and things like that. Probably later this evening or tomorrow, whenever you see this video, it may already be up by now. But seeing Salad in the top four is like, what? Excuse me? Like... Uh, the deck's cool, but I mean, I wouldn't think in a deck, in a in a deck, in a format where you have like Labyrinth and uh, Trap Tricks and Cash Tira and Sprite, like you have all of these other decks that can just blow past Salad in the the fast lane. That I don't see how a deck like Salad could keep up. But I guess like if it goes against a Trap deck, it already has kind of a decent matchup. Um, or maybe like it can just pilot. I don't know, Royal Decree and not care. I don't really feel like I could use Royal Decree all that good. I don't know. I'm not a salad expert, but it's still kind of interesting to sort of theory craft a couple of ideas. And uh, I don't know how much structure decks go for right now, but I would imagine that salad is a rather cheap deck, especially when you compare it to something like Sprite or Cash Tira. Sprite, depending on your build, can be anywhere like over $600 and obviously Cash Tira being, being on average about 970 to potentially with taxes, depending on your area, like a thousand bucks. Um, and then, like I said, with Sprite being uh, the mirror match and being in the finals and all that, you know, Sprite, debatably, although I, I think a lot of people would agree, is that it is the most consistent deck in the format. It also has the most adaptability. Like, think about all of the different ways that you could play Sprite. You know, you've got Tri-Brigade Sprite. Um, you have Runic Sprite, Pure Sprite. You've got the Nimble Beaver and Angler stuff that is very adaptable. You, some builds use Nimble, some Vish, some don't. And so it's interesting to see that out of everything, Sprite ends up winning. And it kind of makes you wonder, is this because of the fact that everybody and their mother was trying to prepare for Cash Tira? Or was it just because of the fact that Sprite consistency-wise just won out? Because even though everybody says, oh, Cash Tira is so toxic, blah, 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 blah. You have so many ways to destroy Cash Tira, whether it's Nibiru, Sphere Mode, Lava. I'm even seeing Kaijus now coming back just to be able to out the Shang or out the Arise Heart, out whatever. Or if they zone lock all five of your zones, you can just go, Kaiju, hey, bro, you going to finish that pizza? <laughs> like, because if all five of your zones are locked out, then obviously, you know, you can't get Nibiru if you're the Cash Tira player. So uh, it's... It's got my head spinning, I'll admit, and it's got me thinking, especially because I have a regional coming up on March 18th, and I'm interested to see what the Cash Tira top four build looks like, because again, there are several different ways to build Cash Tira. But for the time being, I just wanted to make this video and talk to you and say, hey, Cash Tira and Salamangrate made top four and Sprite won the YCS, and I didn't think it would win. You know, Roden Totem being banned and then Sprite Elf being banned. And no, they ran it back and they said, we don't need Sprite Elf, bitches. Like, we we can still just make a big board and just win the game, depending on what these builds are. They just say Sprite, so maybe they're both Runic Sprite builds or something. I don't know. If you remember in my last balance discussion video, I said Runic Tip needs to go to one. So it'll be interesting to see if it was Runic Sprite or Tribegate Sprite or, you know, drinking a Sprite while they're playing this Sprite. 
who knows? <laughs> so guys, let me know what you think about all this more down in the comments below. Be sure that you have the bell ticked as well on the channel and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the deck coverage and deck lists and also all of that fun stuff. Also, uh, OTS Championship happened today somewhere in the world and an Infernity deck made top four. So look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.